Now one question I get asked a lot is, is it possible to connect my iPhone to my computer and put files on there, things besides what you would find in iTunes, music, movies, etc, etc. What if I want to put a Word document on there, or uh, some kind of a Photoshop image, or a PDF? Can I do that? The answer is yes, you can. And there are actually a couple pretty easy ways to do it. The three best methods are SSH, dedicated storage programs, and MobileMe's iDisk. The first method, SSH, short for Secure Shell, is great because it works with any computer that's on a network you can connect to. Here's how it works, with a free app called Discover. First, make sure you are connected to the same network the computer you want to share files with is. Then, fire up Discover. You will be prompted to open the computer browser and type in the web address it lists. This is the one downside to SSH. It's a bit tedious. The good side, though, is that it doesn't require any special software to be present on the computer. Only a web browser. Once you're in, you'll have access to all the file directories on your iPhone just as if it were a drive on your computer. Be careful. Just as you can add files, you can delete or modify them as well. And you don't want to do that. The second approach to interfacing are what I call dedicated storage programs, because unlike SSH, you do need a specific program on your computer. The upside, though, is the seamlessness with which it all works. That's why one such program, File Magnet, is my preferred option. File Magnet costs $4.99 in the App Store. Once you've downloaded the app onto your phone or iPod, you can go to Magnetism Studio's website to download the sister application, Magnet Uploader, for your computer. To use File Magnet, open up the program on your computer, drag and drop or select a file you wish to transfer. Then fire up File Magnet on your iPhone. And presto, the files are synced. The third technique involves Apple servers designed to complement their web accessible devices. MobileMe subscribers have access to web hosting, file sharing, and data cloud access, which is good for business types who want their contacts and information synced and backed up over the air instantaneously. For our uses, let's look at an app put out by Apple called iDisk. For years now, MobileMe subscribers have had access to an online drive called iDisk iDisk is basically all the space not used by their MobileMe email account or MobileMe website. That space, about 20 gigs, can be used to host files. It's great if you say you want to grab a file off a friend's computer and have it already be waiting for you when you get home to your system. And on iPhone or iPod Touch with the iDisk app, it works basically the same way. You can email links to your iDisk files directly from your phone, or add public access so you can share the files with your friends. And of course, all these files will be accessible on your Mac or PC as well. iDisk convenience comes at a price, however. $99 a year, or $69 when you get it with a Mac or iPhone. That may seem like a lot, but the price is comparable to less robust web hosting services, and for iPhone users, MobileMe's inclusion of a Find My iPhone feature may be worth the price of admission alone. Well, there you have it. Three different ways to use your iPhone or iPod Touch as an external storage device. Hopefully one of these solutions is going to make your tech life just a little bit easier. Thanks for watching.